Welcome back. Well, there are certainly going to be a few sore heads around this morning after yesterday's Melbourne Cup festivities. So today we are talking hangovers. Many of us, of course, enjoy the odd glass of wine on a night out, but for some, even that small amount can leave them with a nasty hangover. So to discuss the causes and hopefully the cures, I'm joined by Dr Joe Kosserich. This is one that's puzzled doctors for a long time now, Joe. I'm no pressure, but what's the answer? <laughs> what's we'll get the to that cure? In a Can I ask you... Um, when you get a hangover and you feel rubbish the next day, what is actually happening to the yeah, body? Look, it's direct effects of alcohol within the body, and, and alcohol is a toxin, so it can cause an inflammatory response to occur. It also widens the blood vessels a little bit, so it's a similar effect when people get a migraine, because you get a rush of blood. Uh, it does cause direct irritation to the stomach lining, so again, you can feel that nausea mm. or sick feeling. And um, it also can work as a diuretic, which means we end up getting dehydrated, partly because we're probably not drinking enough water, but also because we're putting out a little bit more when we go to, uh, to pass urine. So those effects combined um, are going to make us feel hungover. Pretty ordinary. Very ordinary. Now, I might get you to clear up a couple of the myths here. Uh, we often hear people say that um, people from various ethnicities mm. are more susceptible to getting a bad hangover. True or mm. false? Look, probably the biggest ones are size and gender. So women are more susceptible to the effects of alcohol, mainly because they tend on average to be a little bit smaller, um, and also because women have a slightly different uh, body fat to body water ratio. So somebody who's 100 kilograms has probably got a higher, and this is not a carte blanche for people to do this, but look, if you're bigger, the, the alcohol gets diluted further mm. because there's more mass. So those two factors. There are some genetic tendencies, mm. but um, ethnicity doesn't seem to make a big difference and then there is individual susceptibility okay so I just there's no one size that fits all here look it's a little bit it's not a perfect analogy but it's yeah. a little bit like saying um, if you get burnt um, you know it, it's it's something that damages the body so alcohol in excess can damage the body and really it doesn't matter who you are where you are that effect is going to be fairly similar nothing worse when you've had a big night and you're around people the next day and there's always one that says oh, I never get hangovers they just don't affect me at all. How is that possible? Short answer is it isn't. Um, <laughs> if <they're> you have, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh look, maybe they didn't have anything to drink, so that's probably the best no, way no, not no, to get a hangover. <laughs> um, look, some people will have greater tolerance, and again, unfortunately, if people drink more on a regular basis, then they do build up some degree of tolerance, and therefore maybe let, they still have the effects. So in other words, their blood alcohol concentration may be the same. So you know, even if they go driving, they think, oh, you know, I feel fine, I can go driving, but you're still over the limit. Mm. But look, people do get used to the effects. It's a bit like if you jump into cold water. It's cold initially, after a while you get a little bit used to it. Again, it's not a perfect analogy, but for people who do drink regularly, there is a degree of tolerance that builds up. And some people, I suppose, just have different thresholds for yep. where they feel sick and where they get a headache. Alright, different kinds of alcohol. We often hear people talk about mixing drinks is a bad idea. Mm. Again, True or false? It really comes down to your blood alcohol concentration. And, ob and obviously, the more alcohol you have, the higher your blood alcohol concentration will be. And if your alcohol is more concentrated, so again, it's probably easier to get drunk on spirits than it might be on beer. Although, if you drink enough beer, the, the end result is the same. So, no, you can't really think, oh, I'll massage this really carefully, you know, I'll do it this way, and then I'll have one of those. Yeah. It's total alcohol it's just amount. It's alcohol content. Yep. You can't run right. away from that hard as you try. The burger or kebab on the way home at 3 o'clock in the morning, good idea or a bad idea? <laughs> um, probably not a good idea if you're driving. Um, <laughs> look, there are a myriad of different, different cures that people have, and I suppose anything that you believe works will probably make you feel better. But look, whilst it is a good idea to have something to eat um, for a lot of people, now again, it's different, because some people, if they are hungover, the idea of food just makes them throw up. So to that extent, having a little bit of something to eat is good. Making sure you're drinking plenty of water. That's the really important one, and sleeping it off. The body has to process the alcohol, and it does take a period <laughs> of time, so you need to, to sleep it off. If you need to take some paracetamol or similar for a headache, you can do that. And um, look, if you've woken up this morning and you really don't like how you feel and you think, I really don't want to feel like this again, then prevention really is better than, than cure. It's I love that last tip, learn from your mistakes. mistakes. <laughs> look, you know, I see people at times in the surgery and they say, look, you know, I feel really terrible, you know, go, well, what happened? And yeah, look, I had a you know, bottle of vodka or you know, too much whiskey or something, and I don't really like how I feel. Well, look, that's understandable. Mm. The take home message is it is avoidable. So, it doesn't yes. mean you can't enjoy yourself, doesn't mean you can't go out. We don't have to be wowsers and say, you know, every single drop is doing you harm. It isn't. But if you overdo it, 
not a good idea. Yep, hold back. All right, Dr Joe, thank you for that. Good advice as we head into the festive period, Christmas parties and all the rest. If you have any medical questions or issues you'd like Dr Joe to address, please send us an email. You can get it to us and Dr Joe at drjoe at 9.com.au.